All right, hi friends, Professor Collins here. I wanted to take some time today to explain our belt system and the way we graduate students through the rank. All right, uh, we follow the belt system of the IBJJF, which is the International Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Federation. So that's the governing body of Jiu Jitsu globally. All right, so you can see here on my right, we have the kids belt rack. So this is the kids belt system up until they are 16 years old. Then on my left here, we have the adult belt system. So it's the beginning of blue, purple, brown, black. So we begin the students here on this belt system at 16 years of age. All right. So you can see here the kids, of course, everyone will start at white belt and they'll move to the gray belt with a white stripe, solid gray, gray belt with a black stripe. We call it junior gray belt, solid gray belt, senior gray belt. And they'll be moving their way progressively up in rank throughout. Right. When that student turns 16, then they'll be, uh, begin on the adult belt system. Now we keep track of students' attendance with our attendance cards. So the attendance cards are categorized by first name and they're up there in the card box. And so the students will come in and they'll grab their attendance card when they come in and give it to the instructor. So the instructor will mark when the student has had a class with a black dot. And we also scan them into the computer so we have a record uh, with how much a student is training. Now once the kids have had about 20 or so classes, they'll get a stripe on their belt. So the stripe is marked with a green dot and also with a green stripe marker right there. <clears throat> once a student has four stripes on their belt, then they become a candidate for the new belt. Right? Uh, we have belt promotions two times a year. So we have belt promotions in the summer and in the winter. And if a student is four stripe on their belt, then they are candidate for the new belt, and if they're behaving correctly at home, behaving correctly at school, and their jujitsu is looking like it's ready to move to the next belt rank, then they'll be graduating up with the other students. All right, friends. So here's another example of the IBJJF belt graduation system, and it's very well organized. And understand that belt promotions, at the end of the day, are up to the instructor. So it's our job to raise every student up to the level of black belt. That's what we want is bring everybody to the level of jiu-jitsu of the black belt. Now often that means bringing out the potential of the student. That means making the weak ones stronger and making the timid more courageous and bringing up the potential of the person. So sometimes in order to bring up the potential of a person, we'll have someone stay at a belt rank for a little while to develop and to ripen and to move to the next belt organically. Right? So generally speaking, it's good form not to pester the instructor about belt promotions and belt testings and just to let the promotions happen at the right time. So we have here a little job list, a little chore list that you can use at home with your young ones to help them bring order to their space and live a more healthy lifestyle and contribute to their community. Now we don't make this mandatory for the young guys. We make this, you know, certain young people need it and certain young people don't. So as a student is getting closer to their belt promotion, maybe they got four stripes on their belt, something like this, we can use this for a month long record of them brushing their teeth, making their bed, <clears throat> eating healthy food, doing their exercises, studying, and contributing to their family. That way it gives the student a motivation to bring order to his space and be a good little person. So part of what we do here is teaching kids how to defend themselves, but also part of what we do here is developing that young person into a strong, productive member of the community. So we really appreciate your help doing this, and we'll see you guys on the mat.